Hey y'all, what's up? Smarty Jones. Welcome to episode 5 of Smarty's World. Alright, so before I get started with today's topic, I do want to just ask you guys, just how are y'all doing? Every time I turn on the news, every time I read something on the internet, somebody else has passed away. Since I posted episode 4.5 last week, um, Elin Harris has passed away. And those of you who know him, you guys know what a dynamic writer he was. You know, he was just a pioneer in the arena of um, gay and lesbian fiction. And um, he passed away, I think he was 53 or 54 from complications of diabetes. So to my fellow diabetics, please y'all take care of yourselves. If you don't do it, nobody else will. Make sure you are taking your meds. Make sure you're eating what you need to eat. Work out a little bit, even if it's just walking around your neighborhood. You know, we got to do something to get your A1C down. Get control of your blood sugar because, y'all, it's not worth it. People are leaving here. All right, so if you haven't heard from me in a while, expect a phone call, a text message, a wall post, an email, something to the point where I know that you're okay. All right, so just, you know, I'm good. You know, I don't want anybody to just up and down with me, and I ain't know nothing about it. You know, so take care of yourself. All right, so today's topic. Ha! And guess what, y'all? I took notes. Notes! All right, as you can hear in the background playing is LaVert's ABC123. And guess what I'm talking about today, y'all? Love songs, Disney movies, and romantic comedies. Why? Because they all suck. That's right. I said they suck. Wait on my track. You suck. That's right, it said you suck. Anyway, y'all, Disney movies. I remember watching movies like Cinderella and The Little Mermaid and Aladdin and Snow White and Sleeping Beauty and all of these different movies when I was a little girl expecting to get a Prince Charming. Everything happened and at the end, I still get a Prince Charming. Oh my God. Really? I was setting our little girls up for the okie doke. That's not even fair to them. Why even let them think that they gonna get a Prince Charming? It ain't true. I'm just saying. Let's give these little girls something realistic to look forward to. You know what I'm saying? Like, there should be a Disney movie that shows, like, I don't know, a deadbeat dude or something. Or, or a dude that's like, right. you know, he kind of average. You know, he trying. You know what I mean? Let's, let's show them that. We don't need to show them that. And he's a prince and he got all these castles and all this stuff. Baby, that ain't gonna happen for you. I mean, I'm not trying to dash your dreams or nothing like that, but more often than not, charming don't exist. He <laughs> don't. I'm sorry. Um, love songs. I love Levert. Joe Levert, the man. Okay, Babyface, the man. Stevie Wonder, hands down. Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, Sam Cooke, the best songwriters that ever lived. I don't care what nobody say. But, I'm, I'm having an issue with these love songs that they keep singing. The love songs, the Disney movies, you know, they all give you an unrealistic view as to what you can expect in relationships. For example... I, I, I forget who wrote Fantasia's When I See You. But I was listening to it the other day and she was talking about how when she sees this dude, you know, she's just, her knees get weak and, you know, she gets sweaty and all this other stuff happens. And then I started thinking about knocks me off my feet and butterflies and a um, whole lot of other songs. You know, I'm, I'm looking at Weak by SWV. Now, y'all know that used to be the song around 92, 93. Maybe even 94. Everybody was listening to it. Really? I mean, because being in love sounds a lot like Vertigo. And maybe, just maybe, this is your body's way of telling you we don't need to do this right now. Maybe this is something we need to wait on. We don't need to be up in here right now with this dude. Because if just the pure sight of him gets you to the point where you just going to fall out and just, you getting sick. Maybe you don't need to see him on a regular basis. Like, maybe you don't need to see him at all. 
ever think about that? Just a thought. In romantic comedies, seriously, pretty women, or pretty woman rather, she was a hooker, y'all. Rich businessman came into town, he needed a date for the week. He went and found a hooker. And then, he wanted to be with her at the end. Hooker like behavior ain't gonna get you a, a man with a good job and benefits. I'm just just telling you it ain't gonna happen. Cause if that was the case, you know how many chicks I know who would be straight right now? Like, they would have no words. I'm just saying. Alright, so never been kissed. Anybody who's ever seen that movie with Drew Barrymore and the cute dude from Hawthorne and um Monster in Law. This station is brought to you he was supposed to be a teacher, and he's having inappropriate conversations with one of his teenage students. Now, in what world does a 35-year-old woman still look like a teenager who can go back to the school and fall right in with the other teenagers? I know 35-year-old women who still look like teenagers, but they ain't going to fit in with the teenagers who are already there. I mean, if you know any, how at a sister. Either way, I'm saying all this stuff is crap. <laughs> we need to get rid of some of it. Or, or, or maybe, maybe we don't get rid of it. Maybe just for every movie that's released like this, every song, we get two that just gives you, like, the rawness of it all. Or I get to remake it with alternate endings. And we release it with both endings. Like, never be kissed. Like, the way I would have done it, he would have never showed up to meet her on that pitcher's mound. Pretty woman, he straight sent her back to the gutter. Sweet home Alabama, she wouldn't have got either one of those dudes. She lied to one of them, and the other one was just, he was too Bama for her. So I would have let him leave her. But that's just me. Either way, you know, if you like love songs, if you like romantic comedies, you like Disney movies, by all means, have that. It. Just don't expect me to watch it. In fact, I'm suing Disney. I got a class action lawsuit against Disney for making all little girls think that they're going to get their Prince Charming. And whenever I do get me one of them high-priced attorneys from the Johnny Cochran firm, I'm going to give them to put a phone number on TV like they do for the people with the asbestos poisoning. And I'm going to get everybody to call in, and we're going to all get a piece of the money. I'm suing the rat, and I hope I got your support. Anyway, I'll be back next week. I don't know what I'm talking about yet. You guys can even write in with suggestions. You know, give me a call. No, don't give me a call, because <laughs> I ain't giving y'all my phone number. But you can email me at tsj2003grad at gmail.com. You guys can also catch me on Facebook, on Twitter. I'm everywhere. Post my information at the end. You can find me there. Until next week, remember, yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery, but today is a gift, and that's why we call it the present. So let's make the most of it. Right now, I'm going to watch Carlito's Way because I need some gangster-type stuff in my life right now. So I'll holler at y'all next week. Peace out.